what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me my name is jessica my mother's was a makeup lover of course um if this was blurry the whole time i'm gonna have problems i don't know why i just like my camera doesn't ever want to focus that's so annoying these are the vibes that we're doing today tropical vibes on the eyes i was inspired by this pigment here i'll give you guys more details when we jump into the tutorial portion of it but that that's literally the vibe i picked a shimmer and we did the damn thing with it okay um i'm so pleased though i feel like this is so super simple the the hardest part is going to be the blending and it's so pretty oh i love it i'm going to be doing my eyes as well as my base in this video because the eyes honestly don't take that long whatsoever so yeah don't forget to stay tuned until the very end of the video where i'll do an up close of my eyeshadow for you guys that way you can see the true beauty of the blend and if you're curious about the products that i use to achieve this look you're definitely gonna want to keep on watching <laughs> I've had a few people ask me about my brow routine and honestly my brows never look the same but I'm just going to show you guys what I've been recently doing. My eyebrows kind of grow out a little bit so I don't really need to fill them in as much as I used to um, and I recently just got the NYX brow glue. Um, I seen Glamzilla rave about this and it made me curious so I just run it through my eyebrow and then I shape it how I want it just comb all the hairs and make them look nice and neat and then I just shape my brow I can make it thinner I can make it I can leave it thick and fluffy just like that very subtle difference but you could see now the blank spaces that I'm gonna take the NYX um what is this the brow tint pen the lift and snatch this has like the tiniest little applicator and this is such a good like brow pen and I'm just going to fill in those blank spots just kind of give my like brow a little tail and I like an arch on my brow so I always like to fill this area in a little bit and voila it's a very natural brow um I'm still like I was still caught up in the 2016 like block brows um and now that my brow hairs are kind of grown out I really have to do minimal work and I just feel like my brows look way more symmetrical when I do them this way so yeah there's the difference between this brow and this brow and then I just take my P. Louise um blank or base and I'll carve out the top and the bottom prime my lids and then I'm ready for eyeshadow my palette of choice today is the P. Louise am to pm palette um I'm actually not sure how much this costs P. Louise always does like a lot of sales so the price that I got it for might not be the price that it is right now um, but this is a very, very large palette, and it's a rainbow palette. You have your mattes, shimmers, pastels, the whole shebang. This is so pretty. I think I've only used this, like, one time. And so, here's the thing. I'm on a journey to use every single one of my shimmers, because there's a few that I have not used yet. Yeah, babe. So, I, I took where I keep all my shimmers, and I put everything in a bag. And then I've just been periodically picking through the bag, or even if I don't know what I want to film, I'll pull one out, like pull a shimmer out, and kind of create a look around that. So that's what I did today, and this is the shimmer that I picked. This is the Kama Cosmetics in the shade Carnival. I don't believe this is their packaging anymore, but I've had this forever. And I actually have a bunch from Kama Cosmetics, as you guys will see as this kind of trend continues, the series continues. Um, and this is so pretty and that's actually what I have on the liner here. Um, these are loose flakes. So, um, she does have a like liquid, like a mixing medium that you could use to make these into liquid liners. I, um, don't have any more of that. Um, so I'm just going to use lash glue when I get to that point and stick it down. And it still has like Mom, that really shiny wet effect. Okay, babe, whatever you say. 
so I'm gonna cut out all of my creasing. Um, starting with the Jessup 231 Luxe Petite brush. It's a fluffy pencil brush. Um, I'm actually gonna start with the row of purples. So this is actually like a purpley blue. I'm gonna start with this shade here called Never Stop. And I'm gonna create like a triangle in my outer corner. So I'm gonna go slanted like wing liner and then just blend it right to the tape. So you see my triangle? And then I'm just gonna soften the edges to make it easier to blend all of my other colors into this point. Yeah, so you got a nice pyramid on my outer corner. I'm gonna dust the same brush off, going into shade Mechanism, which is a lighter purple. Mom. I'm only gonna blend this half of the triangle out. And then dusting that same brush off and shade Tea Party. And again, just this, just like the outer half of my triangle. Now moving on to a Blend Bunny B1 brush. I'm gonna start by taking this dark blue here, which is like, it's like a purpley blue. I'm just gonna put that right here. This is just gonna change the tone a bit to help the transition from purple to blue. So on that same brush, I'm gonna take shade. Yeah, babe. <laughs> on the same brush, I'm gonna take shade on the dot. And now, I'm gonna start like right here. Yeah, babe. I can't understand a word you're saying right now, if I'm being honest, dude. I'm gonna start blending everything inwards now. But I'm gonna save some space on top of every new color that I do to blend the next shade in line, if that makes sense. I'll, I'll try to explain it better, but. I'm not gonna blend this all the way to my brow. I'm gonna leave it right just above my crease. I'm gonna take a Blend Bunny B5, which is a fluffy blending, blending brush. My kid's distracting me. <laughs> um, so I went in with this blue. Next, I'm gonna go into this teal kind of blue. I'm gonna lay that right down next to, this is shade Never Look Back. I'm gonna lay that next to that dark blue, and I'm also gonna use this to blend upward towards my brow. I'm gonna dust the same brush off and go into shade AM PM, which is this, let me see if I can get the tones better. It looks, I feel like it just looks blue, but it's actually this genuinely gorgeous green teal kind of color. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm gonna start blending this right next to that previous shade, as well as on top of it to blend it up towards my brow. And then, I'm going to take shade Itinerary, which is lime yellow green on a fluffy brush. And I'm going to put this right here. So I'm literally going to... There's still one more space. But I want this yellow to be super vibrant. Like this neon yellow green. Okay, so this is the point where I'm going to start working backwards again. So I'm actually going to go in and take shade Keep Shining, which is this green here, just a little bit. And I'm going to blend that right into the yellow on my inner corner. And you don't even have to dust off the brushes when you're going from light to dark. It's super nice and convenient. Now that we have that nice blend going on. There's so many beautiful shimmers in this palette that you could definitely use, but like I said in the beginning, I'm gonna be using the Kimmy Cosmetic in the shade Carnival. I may still have a code, I'm not 100% sure. You could try it if you want to shop Kimmy Cosmetics, it's 301 makeup, um, and you could save some money. But like I said, this is their old packaging. I've had this forever. And this is so pretty, like there's so many shifts to it. Um, I feel like the placement really made a big difference on like the color as well and I got this like everywhere this is messy but I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it up so I'm taking my dual lash glue and I'm gonna draw my little wave shape here I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna wet it to help pick up the flakes and I'm just gonna press them right onto that glue and this is where it gets messy Mm -hmm. 
I'm just gonna keep packing this down until that glue is completely covered. Just like that, you see how messy that is? Yeah, babe. This is why I always do my eyes first. Because I'd like to do colorful makeup. But I'm going to take just a soft spoolie. And I'm just going to go around that shape that I carved out. And take away any fallout. Now, I'm not going to be able to get every single tiny little speck of shimmer. But, like, I feel like it's still my eyebrows. That's fine. And then the lashes that I went in with are the Lily Lashes in the style Swanky. Look how pretty these are. Alright, I am so obsessed with these colors. It's like tropicals on my eyes. Um, I was going to do underpainting, but then I decided, you know what, I'm, I wanted to go in with the Laura Mercier foundation. This is super, super lightweight. So I think, so this is the um, Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. Um, yeah. I think I've said this before, but if you have oily skin, um, I definitely would not recommend this one because it's definitely like a very dewy foundation. I'm going to be doing the Too Faced Concealer, shade Golden. You know what I did last time and I really liked it actually. I'm going to draw this on. It's pretty, it's pretty like, this is kind of a lot. That's okay. I'm going to take my contour cake, so I have all this going on right, and I'm going to take pick some up onto a stippling brush, and I'm going to blend that and the like warm tone together, and like it just, it's not too, it's not so warm, like it definitely cools it down a bit. I'm going in with a P. Louise blush, so I'm going to do my concealer first. I'm going to start with the H&B Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer. Okay, this is what it's looking like so far. I feel like once it's set, it's going to look really, really good. I'm going to be going in with this P. Louise um, Cream and Powder Blush Palette. So the top six are creams and the bottom six are powders. Um, I think I haven't used, I haven't used this one yet. So I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to get in there. I don't have any coffee, babe. It's just water. Yeah, it's just water. It's just water. So I just put a bunch of it on my brush. And then I'm going to kind of disperse it on my hand. And then add it to my cheek. These are very, like, super hydrating creams. Like, lightweight. I'm going to take my Jaclyn X Robin Powder. Since she's discontinued. Okay, now my whole face is nice and set. My kids are roughhousing. We're gonna ignore the hollering. Um, let's see. Let's do a brightening powder. I'm gonna take the Jaclyn under eye brightener. I'm actually using a lot of Jaclyn powder today. I'm gonna be taking the um bronzer shade Skinny Dipped. I don't know. This bronzer just smells so good, and it is so pretty. I genuinely did enjoy a lot of Jaclyn complexion products, so I'm really disappointed that, I don't know, I hope she rebrands. And then now going back in to the P. Louise palette, I think I'm just going to top it up with this shade. Have I used that one? It's a little bit harder to tell with the um, powders, which ones I've used. Like the creams you could tell, but the powders not so much. Hello. And then I just go back in with my powder puff and go right over the blush. For highlighter, I'm taking the P. Louise Wrap It Up Highlighter Palette. And I believe there's like a teal in this one. I'm going to go with this like green one. You can see that? I feel like for some reason my camera's been like resetting the settings. Don't know why, don't know how, but I think I fixed it. <laughs> But then I feel like this might have been out of focus. So did I really fix it? That remains to be seen. Here is the completed look. At first, I thought it was kind of giving me like Sully vibes from Monsters, Inc. But I'm just feeling tropical. This is giving me like tropical vibes and I am here for it. For my lip comp, I went in with the NYX um, lip pencil in the shade Nude Truffle and the NYX Fat Oil lip drip 
um, in the shade Mist Call. So it's like pink, which that would go with the blush really well. I feel like all of my blushes kind of look the same. Am I crazy? Am I crazy or does my blush always look the same? Even though I have like a hundred blushes. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me and if you would like my content. Without further ado, we're going to go right ahead, roll the clip. <laughs> 